Wow. I'm trying to be more consistent. I promised I was going to be more consistent. So that's what I'm doing. And over here in the background, this chinks is over here making a lot of noise. So it might be hard for me to film something because I'm trying to distract her at the same time. That's mommy life. Now my boyfriend texting me, asking me questions about um, bad boys while well, I'm trying to film something. All right. So today is not going to be like a full tutorial. I'm mostly just going to show you how I do my lashes and the products that I use. So my aunt gave me a, like she orders like a lot of different wigs and they give her a lot of lashes for free. They give her free lashes. So basically this tutorial is just gonna be me using these free lashes to make myself look cute today. Yeah. And then I might add a little something, some extra. But I actually own a lot of pair of lashes. Believe it or not, it's scary the amount of lashes I use. Like, these are the two that she gave me. Um, they're called... They're just called Beauty Lashes. I think they just, like, they just came with the wig. This one is a little bit more, like, dramatic than this one. But this isn't the lashes that I'm using today. The lashes that I'm using today is, like, this little kit right here they're very dramatic somewhat natural and i'm gonna have to stop this for a second to see what chinks is doing so my daughter she's not trying to let me film a video right now that's mommy life why you want to let me film you want to play you trying to play with me huh? yeah she wants some attention right now. So we're gonna have to do this like really just one step at a time. You gonna give me copyrighted? It's okay though. I'm gonna change it later. But, um, so, what I'm doing is mashing two lashes together to make it look thicker. So, once I mash them together, look like that. This one. I might have to cut the corners though. I'm gonna see how much size is my eye. I 
As you can see, I really need to invest in some eyelashes, tweezers, because doing it with my finger was a real struggle, and I'm not trying to have that happen again. And also, do you see my boyfriend looking for his shirts? Like, the first one looked nice, but, you know, he just, he's a little bit of a perfect perfectionist. He got to look a certain way. But anyway, let's get back to the video. Okay, you see that? It's coming along. All right, we went from looking like a donkey to a stallion real fast. Like, I kind of I kinda like how I did these lashes, okay? Real professional makeup artist at his finest. In your arms, I never wanna leave. Oh my God, David, pick a shirt already. <laughs> But yeah, I'm enjoying doing my lashes right now. Like you see the level of like concentration it took to get the that lash on. Now this one I really gotta do it just right because you want them to be sisters and twins. It's the same thing with like eyebrows, like you sister you want them to be sisters or at least, you know, cousins or distant cousins, because you know it ain't gonna be perfect. Oh my God, not me dropping the eyelash. Like the struggle got real for a second there. Like, all right, let's 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 get it together, Taya. We we could do better than what we doing. This this was tragic. I would see this is why I need those tweezers. Because if I would have had them eyebrow tweezers, none of this would be happening. So if if y'all know some good eyebrow tweezers. Or a good lash vendor that I could use. Any recommendation, just drop it in the comments down below. Because obviously, I need a little bit more assist assistance, especially if I'm saying I'm a professional makeup artist. Like, what's going on here? But one thing about, like, moving and becoming a new mom is, like, half the makeup stuff that I had is boxed away or... I misplaced it or my best friend probably grabbed it because I'm out here struggling. Now I'm just checking out my eyelashes to make sure everything looks even and it just looks cute and I'm pretty much done and that's how I get my everyday eyelashes on the go. New mommy makeup look. Thank you guys for watching. That's not good. So real quick, I decided to add a little eyebrow tutorial of me doing my eyebrow. So just to like complete the look and add a little something extra. So this is me coming all together.
just to be with you I'm falling, falling from heaven Just to be with you Can't catch me The stuff that I can't use So I already went ahead and moisturized my face and I used the Advanced Nail 92 Munchen Power Essence. I moisturized with that. Then I followed up with my staple, Youth of the People. Everybody know this has been my baby. And this one specifically is a Superfood Air Whip Moisturizing Cream. Then I'm just going to go in with the um, Professional by Benefit. I was gonna go in right here, right here. Mostly just my T-zone with that. Then I'm gonna take my concealers, the seven in. I'm almost out of this one, so I bought a new one at Sephora recently. And I'm just gonna just clean up mostly underneath my eye. I have a little bit of black eyeliner on but not a lot. Just gonna clean up a bit with that. Um, after I had my baby, I ended up having like darkness, dark marks while I was pregnant. And I always had redness, so that's a given. But that dark discoloration in my face um, during pregnancy is still kind of there. It hasn't really went away. And it's something that really irritates me and bothers me. I try not to get irritated by uh, my skin just changing, like just not the same as it used to be. Um, and I like Costa because it is a vegan brand. And while I was pregnant, it was a lot of makeups that I couldn't put on my face. And I just got comfortable with wearing less makeup because of my pregnancy. And because my skin just changed and not really the same as it used to be. So I'm going to wet my breasts with the Mario Bagesco spray. And I'm just going to get in there. And I'm gonna do a video showing you guys my vanity setup because my vanity is basically my makeup suitcase that I use for freelance makeup work. Well, ideally that's what I bought it for, but because of my pregnancy, I ain't really been able to do a lot of freelance makeup for people like proms and weddings and stuff. But ideally that is the goal at some point. That's something that I want to do. Let me change my lighting so I can see if I look more natural or not. So personally, the sponge, if you want all your makeup to be even, it's best to use the sponge, but I'm just going for a more dewy look today. And another product that I used a lot while I was pregnant, as far as foundation, was the Maybelline BB Pure. It has sunscreen in it and a halat and 2% alloy acid. So I just use, you know, a little tad bit of this in different areas of my face. Nothing too, I don't get too crazy with it. That's what I don't do, I do not get too crazy. And when it comes to my brush, I also like to pat it instead of swiping. Patting is important to me. But I think my eyelashes came out really, really good. They all came together. And I feel like with my pregnancy came learning how to do my makeup in two minutes or less and making sure everything is even. I have this really nasty pimple right now that I'm not trying to put makeup on it because I don't want it to get worse or more infected. Um, and I'm 
trying to clear up my skin anyway. And then to set my makeup, you know, it's the Aerosun, the setting powder. Where you going? Mm -hmm. Where you going? I was, I was gonna put it a little bit underneath my eye. It don't gotta be fancy. I'm gonna mix that in with my foundation brush. All right, I'm ready. I just gotta spray my face ready with it. A stalker in my background. Now I'm just playing. Ugh, I put too much lip gloss. And I think I need to throw that lipstick out, that lip gloss out. I got a weird taste to it now. Yeah. Yeah, it ain't giving me the to give. Yeah, that's me throwing this away. This ain't no good. All right. And that's how I do my eyelashes. <laughs>